All right. Seth Cobb again, Lazy Helm Farm. Uh, last video I made, we were um, sharpening saw blades and uh, went over how that worked and told you if you watch the next video, you can learn how to set saw blades. So today we're setting saw blades. Um, if you look at this saw blade, you've got teeth that are set one way. You got one tooth that's pushed away, one straight tooth, and one tooth that's pushed this way. And the reason that's done is so the saw, whenever the blade enters the log, you've got a tooth cutting below the blade, a tooth cutting above the blade, and then a tooth to drag the sawdust out of the way. And that keeps the blade from getting pinched, and it makes, you know, you can change the set in your blades depending on what kind of wood you're cutting, Hardwood, softwood, frozen wood, um, stuff with a really high sap content or just really hard like a hickory. You'd want a, a narrower set or pine, you'd want a wider set. just cuts better. All right. Now, we're going to come over here into this thing. It's called a tooth setter. Um, this is a single single tooth one they make some that'll do two, th two teeth at the time um, you just put the blade in there and pull the handle and it sets it um, this one's a little little older than that so if you want to set the teeth you've got these two little stops right here that fold down on the blade and lock the blade in place so that it's on this dial indicator that'll tell you what set you're putting on each tooth. And then you've got this little thing right here that's attached to this vise. So when you push it, it pushes against the tooth and then the tooth pushes against the dial indicator that then reads the amount of set you're putting on each one of your teeth. So let us set some teeth, shall we? And like I said, you've got a straight tooth to, or a crooked tooth, a straight tooth, and a crooked tooth. So we're going to move forward three clicks. So it would be one, two, three. And then we'd set this tooth. And we'd go to the next one. One, two, three. And once you get the hang of it, you can do a blade pretty quick. Um, so if you guys want to stick with us, I'll... Uh, sharpen this and then show you how to invert the blade and then we'll sharpen some other ones all right so we've just set half the blade um pushed all the teeth in that needed to be in so now i've got to invert the blade and set the other teeth and to do that you take it out of your tooth setter and uh make sure you've got some good leather gloves on when you do this because things are sharp and a pair of long pants too long sleeves don't hurt either take the blade out of the setter and the way I do this and I'm sure somebody's going to tell me I'm probably wrong but as I take the blade push the teeth away from me reach up and curl it back in towards me and pop it out and that's it. All right, so we're going to take and find our mark, which is that little blue line right there. Put it back in the tooth setter. And this time, you use the other stop because you're going in a different direction. But, it's still going to be three clicks and set, three clicks and set. So, we'll do that now.
And if you go too far, it's not that hard to start over. Better to do it now than mess up a blade. And once you get the hang of this, you can actually move along with the program pretty good. Um, like I said in some of my previous videos, I got a uh, Timber King 2000 mil. So you can pick up one of these um, single setters on Craigslist, eBay, Amazon for a few hundred bucks. I know uh, a cook manufacturing down in Georgia and Mississippi, they make a, a pretty good one. Um, like I said in some of my other videos, I've got a Timber King mill, and Timber King makes a, a setter and a sharpener. Um, it does both teeth at the same time, which is, I would say, quite a bit faster, but it's about 1800 bucks, I think. So, for somebody who's just starting out, um, I don't see where you could go wrong with a single setter. Uh, you know, you're, you're saving the money, not having to send your blades off for shipping, plus paying somebody else to do something you can do on rainy days and at night. Um, and, you know, if you don't have blades, you're not making any money. And downtime is down money. So, uh, leave your comments, like, share, follow, whatever it is we do. Um, but thanks for watching and have a good night.